What's going on, y'all? Yeso here, your Series E host, and I'm joined by Spirit Z, the Series E commissioner, to talk to you all about some of the changes we're bringing into Series E Apex Legends going into Season 4. The first three seasons have been a blast, and we're excited that these new changes will make an even better experience for our viewers and players. And it all starts with a bigger season this time around. Previous 12 week long runs will now be 16 weeks long, and we'll also include a mid-season roster mania to allow our players to make adjustments and changes leading into the second half. Yeah, you said it perfectly, JC. I mean, we got a longer season for you guys, and on top of that, we now have a dedicated time for you guys to make those roster swaps, you know, because no more kicking off Timmy, you know, week two, week three, because, you know, you don't like him. We have, a, we have an actual designated time for you guys to make those changes. Next thing we want to talk about here is some big shifts for open night, okay? Previous seasons, we didn't allow any pro organizations to come and compete, but now that will change. Any pro org that isn't already invited to come and play during pro night can come and compete during our open night competition. And we're expanding it in terms of the numbers as well as we will now have qualifying rounds played between two servers. The 12 best teams from those qualifying rounds will then move on to compete against our eight partner squads. Yeah, absolutely. So we've had so much interest from so many pro organizations that want to find a way to, you know, participate or be a part of CRT in any way they can. And this is the way how we've really opened the floodgates for them to actually come and be a part of what we have going on. Yeah, it's awesome. And there's also a lot more going on here as well, because now some of our best open night orgs can get invited to come and play on Pro Night, which also has expanded prizing this season. I can tell you this much, the lobbies, open night lobbies are gonna be a lot more competitive this season. So uh, get ready for that one. And the prize pool, thousand bucks, it's gonna increase. It's gonna be a good time. Next thing we wanna talk about is one final adjustment to the way Open Night is going to work. In previous seasons, our best Open Night team throughout the entire season automatically qualified for Series E sponsorship, but it's not gonna work that way any longer. Now the only way to qualify for that Series E sponsorship is to come and play in our open qualifiers. Yeah, our qualifiers are gonna be nuts. It's gonna be pretty competitive now that Series E has grown so much. So I mean, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it because signups start right now. Yep. Definitely make sure to get in on that. The final thing to address is our Series E champions will now represent Esports Arena in the LGS. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's quite an opportunity to actually represent our brand in the LGS. So, I mean, the first place team that, win, that wins pretty much the season gets to get another contract for the following season as well as represent us. It's awesome. Make sure to get in for the qualifiers right now. As Spirit Z already mentioned, the signups are live over at matcharino.com slash ESA. And if you guys have any further questions about what's going on, just head over to esportsarena.com or join our Discord.